Hi guys, this is Shelly from Lisa Ravel Stickers and today I am going to set up the week of July the 4th to the 10th and I know this is technically the second week in July but to me it feels more like the first. So I don't know if you have watched my new release and my new weekly kits reformat video where I tell you that um, the way I'm going to be offering the weekly kits uh, are different. Like there's a different format. I kind of had both types of kits available for a while, wanting to see what it was that you guys were drawn to more, what was more popular and, and what it was that you guys really wanted. So uh, right now I'm going to set up the hourly. So I brought these stickers with me. I don't think I'm going to be using them all but I kind of wanted to um, show you different ways. The The formatting of these stickers is a little bit different. The new kits have a difference, like um, the sheet that has all the full boxes is eight full boxes, not four. So there's a kind of a difference. So let me tell you why I pull out these two sheets. And of course, I'm gonna be using kit 64, which is the fourth of July kit from my shop. And let me show you the two, um, ways that I think I can do this. One option is to use this one here, right? The sampler. Uh, I feel like I wanna use the, the vertical date covers instead of the hourly ones, just to give it a little bit of a, an added interest. And um, of course the thick, the medium washi, because that's the washi that goes on top and on the bottom. So, these here would definitely make a kit for me. The other way I can do this is quite possibly instead of using the sampler, I would just use these here and the sidebar and maybe I could use one or two of these uh, boxes and you know, washi, whatever. So there's different ways to do this. I think I'm gonna use a combination of both. Um, the one thing that I'm 100% sure I'll be using are uh, these. So medium washi for sure, I know I'm gonna be using. And I think it's super cutie patatootie washi. One thing though, you do have to be mindful of is since these are pages that can work with any of the kits, you will need to trim, trim them down to size because they might be a little bigger than whichever size it is that you need. Oh, isn't this so cute? Look, I have a little bird here. I'm gonna save it. I might just use this um, as a decoration later on. And same goes over here. Um, I know I'm gonna have uh, some washi left over for sure on this side because this one is just shorter. But that's fine too. Those leftovers are super fun ways to embellish or to just, you know, like mark or highlight something in the kit. So I'm excited about that. You know what? I'm terrible at using the slice tool. That was just horrible. Sometimes I feel that it's better to use the ruler. The slice tool with a coil, and it's funny, like I'm not a fan of coil, not at all. But even though I feel that planning in the agenda would be more my jam, the problem that I specifically have with the agenda is that I need the planners to sit on my desk and the agenda just takes up too much time. So I need to have them on the coil. There's no other option for me. So yeah, you know, I've seen some people use the daily, uh, I mean, they would use the Happy Planner rings and kind of cut pages and make it work. I have been so tempted to do that. <laughs> Can't tell you guys how tempted I've been because that would be like the perfect thing of both worlds for me. like. The, those rings are just the best 
And I also know that some people use um, rings without like the agenda type of binder and just rings and kind of Franklin planning. I, I should try that because that might work if I can uh, fold it like, um, you know, just have it folded on my desk. So I guess it's something to try out. Okay, now let me put the date dots before I continue talking and forget to put them on because you guys know me, you know, I am famous for forgetting to do that. And of course, Monday is the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, guys. I hope you are watching this either on Sunday or Monday. And whichever day you're watching it, either happy 4th of July weekend or happy 4th of July. And for those of you that live abroad, happy day. <laughs> you know, happy whatever. You wish me a happy whatever and I'll be happy with that. How about that? Wherever I live, whatever you celebrate, you wish me a happy that and I will be so grateful that you're wishing me a happy anything especially with all the craziness that I feel has taken up <laughs> over the world in these past two years. Happy stuff is always to be celebrated. So I'm gonna be doing something a little different here. I hope it goes well, we'll see. And you will be able to tell me at the end of this video if you liked it or not. And of course, I can totally see that I'm doing something a little bit crookedly now. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Let's do the other side. And I think this looks super cute. And again, I could have just used the hourly strip here as well. But you know what? Um, I had this cut already. So I thought, well, you know, why have to cut the hourly if I know I can use this one just as well? And it's just going to make it a little different, you know, make it vary a tiny bit, but also I think fun because I, I feel like I'm always doing the same thing. And the other thing that I like about these um, build your own kits is that I feel like I can be more creative and change things around and play with different elements and kind of, you know, spice up what it is that I'm doing each time. Okay, the one item that I for sure am going to use is my sidebar. However, I want to use this cute bird here. So let me just use this little guy here and then I'm going to use the ombre checklist right below it and followed by the habit trackers. Uh, uh. So that's a little crooked, but it is what it is. It'll work. It will work. And can I use this? You know what? I could use this down here, I think. Let me just measure. Yes. But what I'm going to use is this one because I feel that this red rainbow is going to make it pop. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, such a pretty sidebar. Love it. I am really loving this so far. And I'm having a lot of fun playing with these stickers, guys. Okay, so now, what else do I want to do? I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one. Should I use it? Should I not? Um, yeah, instead of using these, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sampler. I know I'm gonna have stickers left over. Um, it would have been wiser to not use the sampler and use these instead, but I wanna have fun and try out different options and versions for you guys to see. So instead of using this ultra thin washi, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these guys over here. So, 
I am going to set up this washi right on top of the birds. And then, where is my ruler? I can't believe I lost it like that fast. <laughs> where did it go, guys? Oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes... I get into the rhythm of planning and I don't think you're even seeing what I'm doing. Oh boy, guys, <laughs> this video is going to be so much fun, huh? Oh, you know what happened? When cleaning, I think I moved some things. So there we go. You see, uh, I have to remember or kind of tell my daughter if she's the one that's going to be doing the dusting that um yeah you know we need to try and put things back where they go but i can be mindful of doing that myself too and actually i'm just realizing that everything is like so far up there so let me just bring this over a little bit and bring this one over too so um Okay, I think this is it. I think this is the way that it's comfortable for me. And I'm sorry that I must have put a whole bunch of stuff down here out of focus. Forgive me about that, guys. Okay, so looking great. I really like the way this is uh, looking right now. So let me um, remember which... Oh, so our trash days, right? So this is a recycling day and Wednesday and Saturday. We missed today. I'm filming this on Saturday. We missed trash day today, guys. I completely forgot and uh, I'm the one who remembers. Like my husband just doesn't remember. So if I don't tell him, he just doesn't bring it out and our trash doesn't get picked up at the same time every week it varies so you know some days it's sitting out there until like 11 o'clock in the morning and other days you go out at 7 30 and it's already been picked up so guess which day it was this time right whenever i forget to take it out <laughs> That's exactly when they come early. Thankfully, we didn't have that much. Okay, so if this is out, the bin is what's going out um, in the day. So let me use this one. And then what is going out is going to be this guy here. Okay just focus on what I'm doing otherwise I, I'm gonna be all um, forgetful and I don't want that okay so let me uh, figure out trash now so for trash I have this is kind of like a purple bluish type of color I feel like I'm gonna use the dark blue ones because I don't have any red ones. So let me just use these guys over here. And so Wednesday is day and Saturday is day which means that Tuesday and Friday are out. And you know why I forgot? Because I barely looked at my planner yesterday. It was such a busy day that I barely went and looked into my planner. When I look at my planner, I remember because I'm seeing it there, right? So it doesn't matter that it's displayed on my desk if I don't look at it then that's what happens. 
Okay. Now, um, on Monday, I don't have, of course, any appointments or any of that. I will work a little bit, but it's going to be mostly a family time. So maybe I'll wake up early and work when everybody else wakes up, then that's it. Same thing. I might just go to bed a little later at night. And that's when I'm going to get um, some work in, which I should make a point of getting to do that because if you guys are watching this on the 4th of July when it's coming out, there is a public sale. Everything in my Etsy shop is 20% off right now. But if you're part of my VIP group, you have a coupon that has a higher discount than that, that it also expires today, July 4th. So yeah. Uh, you guys have been keeping me busy. A lot of orders have been coming in. I really, really appreciate that. So I know that I'm going to have to, um, you know, cut, restock, and um, pack orders all throughout the week, which is great and fine. I planned for that. And I mean, I was always hoping that you guys would support the sale, but you never know what's going to happen, right? So I'm just excited that you guys were excited about it too. Okay, now, we are going to have summer camp starting. So I feel I want to do, like the other day that I uh, kind of planned for summer camp, I kind of used this here and, and, you know, put the stickers down. So this one is actually going to go from... Tuesday because of course there's no camp on Monday and you know what I, I hate those camps that they they don't prorate so you won't be able to get you know you're you're not going to have camp on the fourth but you have to pay for it anyway and the other one that goes all the full days is the same price uh, anyway I understand that people need to get vacation time and all that stuff, but I don't, I don't know. I just feel that the people that go to camp this week shouldn't be the only ones paying for vacation days for all the employees. That Everything has to be built in in all the pricing, or at least being a business owner, that's what I think should happen. But everybody does things differently. Uh, it was still something worth doing for us so we just went ahead and did it anyway however i like it more when i see that they take that into account and they prorate that okay so i want to make sure to use these stickers to note that we're going to have summer camp right this week and these two days as well. So it's it's a, a two week summer camp. So we're basically just getting uh, one, we're getting nine days instead, instead of the 10 that all the other uh, camps get. Okay, now I have a tricky thing going on because I have that furniture delivery that I had on Friday. The guy called me they were supposed to d deliver between 8 and 12, and they called me at 11 saying the driver did not show up. I was so annoyed because in those three hours, I didn't even take a shower because I did not want to miss them coming and me not being ready. So, I, I don't know. I'm just not going to go into it, but I would have appreciated the call. I understand, though, like if somebody's, you know, I'm not going to tell them, come deliver today because I had plans and I had hired people to do this and that with that. Now, I understand that things happen and well, it is sad. It trickles down. I also had to cancel and reschedule with the person I had hired. However, the one thing that kind of got me a little <laughs> worked up was the fact that you wait till the last hour to call me. Uh, that to me is a little bit disrespectful and, and it's just, it just makes me sad to see how the, the customer service um, spirit has been lost in so many places. And that certainly is not the case in my shop because that's something I appreciate and um, I behave the way I would love 
for um, others to behave with me. Okay, there, run over. Now, we're also gonna possibly have a passport appointment, but that's also tentative, so I don't wanna mark it down. What I am gonna mark down, though, is the furniture delivery. They told me that between eight and 11, so I'm just gonna kind of make a box like this. I think that's what's gonna be best because, and then I'll kind of put a little flag or something uh, to mark it down. And they also said that if they did not come between that time, because I told them, well, hey, listen, starting next week, I have summer camp. So my schedule is just gonna be messed up and I cannot give you a four hour window, not, not in the hours you deliver. So he was at least able to work with me, which I appreciate. And that's also what I told him, okay, I understand what's going on with you, but hey, please also understand what this means for me. And, and he was nice enough and you know, we did everything on very good terms. I was very annoyed, but I'm not the type of people that are gonna yell at people. So no matter how annoyed I am, I'm still going to, I forgot that I'm using an hourly kit, that I am using a build your own weekly kit. So what this means is that these are 1.5 boxes, so I have to account for that. Okay, so let me just write that down furniture because that's also something I do not condone is people being rude and aggressive when they are stating their right or when they're requesting customer service I don't agree with people behaving this way okay so even though I'm saying that the spirit has been lost I also don't think that it's okay to go on a rant with people and sometimes you can escalate things to certain people, but the poor person that's on the phone is not the person that's responsible for what happened. So I'm always very mindful of that too. Okay, now Wednesday, I'm leaving kind of open. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty going on here, especially in regards to work. Then um, on the 7th, I do need to highlight that I want to pay tuition, so um, hmm. where should I put this? I think I'm going to put this up here, and I'm going to just use the box this way, and oh, I keep forgetting. It, it's going to stay this way. That's fine. Oh, you know, once I get used to um, using these, I'll definitely, you know, remember that I have to center the boxes. So pay tuition, and then if I don't get this appointment confirmed, then we have a 10 a.m. passport appointment, which I am going to note down by using this little box here, which I think is super cute. There we go. So 10 a.m passport okay then at 2 30 we have allergy shots <clears throat> and this one is always a little bit more involved because i need to leave like at 2 then we get there at 2 30 we're out of there like at 3 30 and we kind of get home around 4 so let's just do like this and use my allergy shot stickers, which should be here. I always look in the wrong place, guys. Uh-huh, here they are. Allergy shots. Here you are. <clears throat> okay. So then these are happening at 2.30 p.m. Wonderful. And then on the 8th, <clears throat> it's going to be my husband's birthday. 
So I'm gonna use one of these little boxes up here to highlight that, right? And a little cake, happy birthday sticker, something like that of that sort to just make it a little fun. So let's use these red balloons here. And the happy birthday script, which is right over here. There we go. So from all these videos that I've been filming, my computer, my uh, hard drive is just maxed out, guys. I need, I know it's my birth, my husband's birthday, so I'm not going to write down whose birthday it is. So I've been backing up to a system that we have, but that is so slow. And I don't know if I'm going to run out of space before I can free up enough space. I need to figure this out. I don't know what I'm going to do, but ah, wish me luck. So we have a that day we have a 3.30 p.m. skating, ice skating appointment. And let me see what I have left. Okay, so I still have some of these and I'm gonna bring them up here just so I don't forget what I still have left over, guys, because then I forget and I don't use it. So it's going to be uh, from 3.30 to 4.30 and ice skating. So let me just grab my scripts for that. Ice skating. <clears throat> and I'm gonna, might as well just grab the one that's gonna happen on Saturday as well. So this is Friday ice skating at 3.30 and then on the weekend on Saturday it's going to be at 1 p.m. so let me just grab this little guy here and use this one right so 1 p.m. there we go now, I want to embellish this a little bit. So I'm gonna use this guy here. Like I said, this is gonna be like a family day for us, so I'm not gonna have all that much going on. And then on Wednesday, I'm also gonna use this one over here. That way, if I need to plan around hours, I still have some leftover space to do so. And then on Sunday, I want to use this other cute guy here. And um, I feel like I want to embellish something else, but <clears throat> I don't want to overdo it and then be scrambling for space to write my plans. Now, you know what? I'm going to use this box too. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And uh, let's just set it down over here. And then let me just do the weekend. I want to see <clears throat> what washi I have that I can use because I saw Rhiannon do this and I really liked it. So I've been trying to do it ever since. So I think this one's going to work. So let's just go ahead and use it uh, yeah and then I say this one's gonna work and it's not centered which sometimes I'm okay with that but sometimes it just triggers me so let me just go ahead and center it white this out and do things the way they should be done okay so my husband is going to be working on Friday. I don't think we're going to be able to go out or do much. So most likely I'll just um, cook something at home. Yep. 
that's going to have to be it. So what else do I have that I'm forgetting? I, f I always feel that I have something. And what happens is that sometimes I have plans and I say, I'll write it in my planner as soon as I get home. I don't put it on the phone. I don't put it anywhere. And then I can't find it. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what I do. So I know, guys. I know. Trying to figure out and see if I can use any more of these stickers. Okay. So, yeah. I used um, quite a few boxes and elements from this one here, but maybe I did not need to use them all, or I don't know, because um, I'm seeing what I have left over. And I think that if my hourly was not such a zoomed out view of my daily, if this was my only planner, I know I would use a lot more elements from this page. And I think this would be like a perfect combination for me. Um, just using the um, full boxes, the dashboard, the date covers, the washi and the sampler. Like this for me would be enough for a kit. I'm still having some items left over just because this is like a zoomed out view of my um of my week okay so i did not set up the, the 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 sidebar let me just do that so that i can finish this video and the things that i'm tracking are medicine so let me just use one of these red ones and walking right so let me find the shoes let me find the cute shoes here they are and for the shoes i'm going to use one of these blue ones so let me see where i'm going to use each one of these okay i think this is gonna look cute if I use this one here, if I use this one here. So this is going to be medicine. Uh, this is going to be walk. And this one here is going to be low carb. And for cleaning, since it's 4th of July, I'm not gonna go crazy. So I am going to do Roomba, of course. And I'm always going to refresh the bathrooms. And I'm, going, I'm just gonna go upstairs and downstairs because I don't have uh, that much space here. And then of course, the kitchen, which is something that's always needed. And what else? Well, you know, I abbreviate it, so that's fine. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so here it is. That is what my week looks like. I, I think it's gonna be super exciting that I don't have all that much going on because I have a lot of work to do, cutting stickers and packing orders this week. So this is perfect that I have not made that many plans. We might invite one of Elisa's friends over uh, or possibly bring somebody home with us after ice skating. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go, but it's always nice for her to be in touch with her friends during the summer. So I'll have to figure out what we're gonna do about that for these two weeks because her summer camp is like in the middle of the day. It's just three hours in the middle of the day. So that's gonna be kind of funny and um yeah i need to kind of work around that each of the days so okay this is it that's what i have and i hope you guys liked it and as you can see you know don't be afraid of the change in format and the way you're going to place orders for stickers now it's a matter of just getting used to it. And once you get used to it, that's going to be it. The other thing I'm going to announce is that once the weekly kits that I have cut start selling out, 
I'm going to be reformatting them into this format. So it might take me a few months, but there will be a time where the weekly vertical, horizontal, and hourly kits are not going to be in the shop anymore and they're all going to be in the build your own kit section. Okay, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Again, happy 4th of July and take care and have fun, but stay safe too. Bye guys.